Hello everybody! Welcome to my brand new series. We are going to be playing survival on the new aquatic update and I am so extremely excited. Look at the dolphin! <gasps> it's coming right towards us! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I've picked out this seed for us and I just love it. We are on these islands and we're going to be trying to survive on these islands, building them up hopefully. We're completely surrounded by these gorgeous coral reefs. I'm so excited. We've got to get off of this first island here because there's no trees on it. Let's let's try out the new swimming mechanic. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh my goodness. I love it so much. Look, there's a shipwreck. Oh, and a puffer fish. Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> I have not played survival Minecraft in so long. I'm so excited to just get back to the basics and start playing this game for fun again. As most of you guys know, I'm sure, I am a creative builder. So I usually build a lot of massive things. I use mods and plugins like WorldEdit, Voxel Sniper to create these big works of art, basically. And uh, I want to go back to the basics for a little while and do some building in survival Minecraft. And I think the update aquatic is the perfect time to get back to doing that. All right, let's get some of this sugar cane. We got to get a lot of base materials here. Definitely need some more wood. There's lots of lovely little ponds around here as well. Maybe a cave somewhere? Yeah, that looks like a good cave. Okay, why don't we go get some cobblestone right away so that I can get some basic tools. Let's do this. See if I remember how to play survival after so long playing creative. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Oh my goodness, and there's lava down here. That actually could really come in handy. Okay. Gonna get some basic tools. Basically, my idea for this series is I wanna build. I wanna build a structure, an organic, as well as do some terrain building, all in survival mode. So I've picked out a seed for us that I think will go over very well. I'll show you guys a little map of it on the screen right now. Obviously, it's not updated to 1.13, so you can't see the coral and stuff, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I haven't explored any of this in game. All I know is that we're on islands. We've got to do all the exploring on camera right now and I'm so excited to see the rest of the seed. Okay, let's get some basic tools here. So we got a pickaxe and an axe. I think that's all we need for right now. That'll be fine. Okay, we have some pigs. I don't want to kill the pigs. One thing we're definitely going to struggle with. Okay, we're going to struggle with a lot of things, but one thing we're definitely going to struggle with. Oh, <gasps> shipwreck. Sorry, distraction. Uh, we're gonna struggle with animals because we're on an island, so very limited spawning is gonna happen. We are gonna struggle to get sheeps and cows and all of those things we need. So I'm gonna try not to kill any animals, survive off plants the best we can so that I can start making farms once I have enough wheat and carrots or whatever to uh, breed them up. That's kind of my plan. I'm gonna get lots of this birch wood. Okay. I think I want to use this birch wood in our starter house, actually. Oh, is that a chicken? Yes, there's a chicken. That's perfect. We'll be able to make an automatic cooker with that. Once we get some eggs, of course, and breed them. Oh, some saplings. Perfect. I want to go over there and explore that. What do you guys say? I think we, there is no reason to stall on the exploring. Let's do it right now. Let's get over there. Oh, it's all the fish. Oh my goodness, we just swam over a salmon. Oh, the coral reef is so gorgeous. I'm so excited for us to get enough tools to get in that water and swim around. You know, with water breathing and stuff. Oh, look at the dolphin and the squid. It's so perfect. Okay, that is a perfect shipwreck for us to explore. Because it's right on the surface, so we don't have to use water breathing. Oh, <gasps> food! Yes, that is exactly what I needed. <gasps> Take a breath. Okay. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, swim down, swim down. Oh no, it's right through here. Can I break you? Oh dear. Perfect, all right, what's this one got? Paper, buried treasure map, all right. I will take it, that's some good loot. Let's get out of here before we drown. Whew. Okay, last one, right in here, perfect. So this one should have the treasure. Let's see. <gasps> Look at all of this treasure. Oh my goodness. That's so exciting. We have iron already. That's such a perfect start for us. I'm so excited. Okay. Well, let's go over to this next island right here. I mean, why not? 
we're going to be inhabiting all of these islands. We may as well get a good idea as to what's on them. I want to chop down these birch trees as well, because our starter house is going to use birch wood. And, uh... That might be a little controversial, because I know some people really don't like birch wood, but I like it a lot. Especially on these sandy beaches. It's going to be perfect. So let's get a ton of that. Alright, now that I've got some wood, I think the next step is going to be getting a little bit of this sand. So I want to just take a little bit of sand without destroying the beach. I don't want to do too much damage to the beach. I'm just going to take off a little bit of sand off of this, just so we can build with it, make some glass use a little bit of it here and there. It's a very useful material to have for sure. I'm gonna be collecting a lot of building materials, but I wanna do so without destroying too much of the natural terrain that is here. Although we are gonna be building some of our own terrain, of course. All right, we're doing pretty good with the sand collecting. Let's see how much we've got. We've got over a stack, that's awesome. I'm just gonna get a little bit more, just round this off a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And see, we didn't ruin anything over here. Can't hardly tell. Let's go pick up these saplings. Don't want to waste any because our spawn island did not have trees. All right, there we go. Five birch saplings. That is going to do us well. Let's go back over to that main island where we saw the cave. Whoopsie daisy. Getting turned around. Oh, did I leave a piece of sand? Oh, oh well. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let's just swim over this coral a little bit. Or, er, sorry, we're not swimming. We're boating. Oh my gosh, there's so much of it. Guys, if you guys want to play along on this seed, please do. I will leave it in the description so you can copy paste it and use it in your own worlds. I'm so excited to be playing this and I want to play along with you guys as well. This is going to be so much fun to build on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Out of the boat. There we go. Thank you kindly boat. Oh, I love that we have all these flowers too. That's going to be fantastic for building. Okay. Let's get down here. Oh, iron! That's what I'm looking for. want to get nice and suited up because I'm very used to creative mode. There are no monsters in creative mode. <laughs> I need to get ready for these monsters. Alright. Have we got any coal? It'd be really nice to have some coal. Uh, nope. No coal in that one. Hello, piggies. Hmm. I actually don't remember where I saw the cave. Oh, here it is. Uh, this one doesn't look that big either. Hmm. Okay, so this cave is a bit of a dead end. <laughs> That's alright. Let's get back up here. Oh, we need food so badly. Okay. Yeah, we need to work on that. I've been sprinting around so much. I need to stop that. I need to conserve. Goodness, I'm not very good at conserving. Let's get these birch trees planted because we're going to need lots of those for building material. And we can also get some seeds. Let's break some grass here. We get some seeds, plant some wheat. If we're going to be on a plant-based diet, we had better start growing stuff soon, huh? Get that going. I think there was a little pond. Oh, right there. Let's plant around this little pond, shall we? I think that is a beautiful spot to start a cute little farm. We need a hoe, though. There we go. Alright. Let's just dig down a little bit. So that this can be hydrated without us having to move any water. Okay. Let's get these seeds. Oh, that's, that's not it. Nope. There we go. <laughs> and the advancement, a seedy place. Awesome. Oh, potatoes. Baked potato will be such a good food source. Let's get all of those planted. And all of these carrots planted. Now I want to use a little bit of this wheat. Not all of it. I'm going to conserve some. Just make a little bread. Just so I have something to munch on. <laughs> There we go. We're not going to starve to death. We'll be okay. All right. Sun is going down. I want to get underground and do some mining. Hmm. Maybe there's a cave where we started. Let's go look really fast. I want to get underground as quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, I hang up. Pit stop for sugarcane planting. Deep this oh, look at that ravine. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting. Okay. We got to get over here. Oh, we're going to drown as well. Up to the surface. Oh no! Swim up! There we go. Oh, I had to press the spacebar. My bad. Okay, I'm really hoping there's some form of cave somewhere. If not, we may have to just dig down. Oh, yes! There's a cave right here. Okay. This is good. Let me make some torches real fast. We have two coal and we're gonna use it both on torches. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, I should mention, by the way, to you guys, once Optifine comes out for 1.13, we will be using that, but that'll be the only mod we're using. It's gonna be fully vanilla, fire spread is on, it's, I mean, it's as vanilla as you can get. Optifine is gonna be here only to optimize the game, not to, like, 
add any new features or anything. Just stabilize our FPS a little bit. All right, let's get all of this coal. We're gonna need so much to go caving. Okay guys, I am gonna cut here. I'm gonna continue mining in this little cave overnight and I'll be back with you once the night is over and we have some more supplies. All right guys, so I've, I've made a little friend, but uh, more importantly, we have some more iron now. So we're, I'm gonna start us off by making some tools. Definitely need a new pickaxe. Uh, what else is important to make right away? Can I combine this? Yes, I can. Okay, we definitely need a sword. Now that we did not sleep through the night, there could be creepers out there. All right, axe for sure. We're getting pushed around by an enderman right now. What is this? Okay, and let's make a chest plate. And you know what? We need some pants too. <laughs> Perfect. All right, some more achievements have been gotten. Let's collect up our stuff. This wasn't that big of a cave. It, it ends like literally right there, but I've gotten all of the coal, all of the iron, and I mean some building materials, which are never gonna go astray with a builder playing. All right, it looks like it's raining out, which is super unfortunate, but whoop, there's a spider. Hey, buddy. Don't mind if I, whoop. Up. Oh no. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Ah. Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh my goodness. This is more dangerous than I had anticipated. Okay, I need the skeleton to shoot you guys, not me. Yes, exactly like that. Keep going, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, nope. Ah! Run. Oh, I'm running towards the other one. Okay, buddy. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Why couldn't you guys have gone into the ocean? Come on. Okay. Whew. All right. That was the hardest one. And I'm out of food. I didn't make any more food. Come here, zombies. Get wrecked. Oh, yes. Look at these PvP skills. I guess this is not PvP. It's PvZ. But still. I got him. Okay. Where was that other skeleton? I need to get rid of him before he comes up behind me and scares me. Okay. Don't kill me. Don't. Ah. What is happening? It's like server lag in a single player world. That's not okay. Die, please. Whew. That was way too close for comfort. Oh my goodness. Okay. Food right now. <laughs> I need all the food. Whew. That was terrifying. I do not see any drown though. Which is good because I do not think I can handle one of those right now. Alright, well. I know one thing for sure. Uh, I need shelter, like, right, right now. It, it cannot wait any longer. We're gonna go back over to our farm over here and start setting up our shelter because we desperately need it. We also have to explore that shipwreck. I think we'll wait until we have some uh, water breathing gear to do that because I don't think we can dive that low for that long right now. All right, I'm just gonna patch in this dangerous hole right here because I do not want to fall down there and I know that I will. We've got a ravine happening right here, but I'm gonna put our house right here on this little beach, I think. I think that's a nice place for a little house. And we're gonna be doing it with birch and with sand. Okay, so first thing we need to figure out which way we want our entrance to face. Mm, I think I kinda like that way. Okay, let's do it. Our entrance will be this way. Um, we'll do like that, and then we'll have a three wide spot for a door. I always build in odd numbers. In a spot like this, but like this. All right, is this big enough? I've gotta make sure it's big enough. Um, we'll go back quite a few, yeah, that'll probably be good. Okay, and then a middle one, and one right over here. Oh, it just barely fits, that's actually perfect. All right, and now we've got to build each of these up one more. Whoop. Parkour skills. Yes. Parkour house building. Oh, okay. And last one. Right here. I actually took damage from that fall. What the heck? Man, I'm not used to taking damage while building. <laughs> All right, and we are going to be building this up like a sandcastle. We're going to have a cute little sandcastle house. Right on the beach, I think this is going to serve our purposes perfectly. Okay, I need a shovel. Okay, let's uh, let's get a couple things out of our inventory right now. Oh, that's not, that's, 
That's not even close to what I meant to do. <laughs> I want to make a shovel. Where? Uh, okay, I don't have any sticks, so let's just make a few of those. And we'll make it out of iron. Why not? We'll probably need a lot of shoveling, so it's better. Better to have it. Oh, and it stopped raining! Brilliant! Minecraft does love us, after all. Alright. Four high walls. We may have to collect some more sand. Oh, we're gonna... It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Oh my goodness. It's so close. Oh, yes! Okay, we have enough, actually. The perfect amount of sand. Awesome. Now let's fix up these logs, because... Don't worry. I'm not leaving them like this. We're gonna use the strip logs, of course. I've been so excited to finally get my hands on these. It goes so well with sand. Oh, that sound is so satisfying as well. That's fun. That's <laughs> actually super fun to do. Ah, oh, this is gonna be awesome to build with. Okay. There we are. Now we need a doorway right here. Um, let's just convert all of those over. We'll make some birch doors. We're, we're gonna have a lot of birch wood, okay? <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of birch used here. Let's get a chest because I'm... I'm full. <laughs> My inventory is just so full. Oh, goodness me. Okay. Chest there and chest there. Let's get our building blocks in here. Boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna need these. Thank you very much. And valuables in here. So keep those nice and safe. Definitely want our buried treasure as well. So I'm gonna go for a castle-like feel around the top of this sandcastle. Okay, so up here in the corners, each corner is going to have some stairs, like so. Oop, let's pick up that. Let's actually put a torch on the back here just to light things up for us. All right, that is looking good, if I do say so myself. Let's get some more stairs, I believe. And let's just make the rest of those slabs, because I'm going to need a lot of slabs. Ooh. I drop off that and that as well. There we go. Now we should have enough materials to get us going. Super good. Um, each of these, oh goodness me. Not like that. Each of these is gonna have a little section like that and then it's gonna come out. And the top is gonna lap around like that. Let's do that on every side now. And drag the slabs across, oop, nope, not like that. All right, and now we just have to do the front, and I think we're just gonna do stairs right here. And, oh, I missed, I missed a piece of sand. There we go. Yep, I like that. Oh my goodness, it's almost nighttime again. Night comes so fast. Okay, let's get some torches around our, oh, what happened there? Okay, <laughs> torches around our house. I do not want any more baddies, especially not creepers, now that we have a home built. Let's just get some of these around. Check on our farm, perhaps? Eh, no such luck. Okay. Well, let's let's get some more of these seeds planted, shall we? While we are out here, we should probably fill up this farm. There we go. And back to our birch tree. Probably gonna need more of this wood, so I may as well just collect it now. Alright, let's get let's get in our home. <laughs> it's gonna get scary out there really soon. Okay, so I want to get up to the top now. So, oh, I'm going to need more stairs. All right, that's fine. Let me grab some. Good thing I grabbed some more wood. There we go. All right. And we will do that. It's coming down in the middle of our house. We will move it after. Don't worry. Okay, this is going to be like such a cool little lookout. Let's do this. Some castle-like slabs going all the way around for our sandcastle finish. All right, there we go. Okay, let's let's be brave and hop down and get a little look at this, shall we? Oh, there's a skeleton over there. Let's get these. Oh, oh yes, it's so cute. I love our little sandcastle starter. All right. Let me get these in. I hear you, zombie. I hear you. You will not sneak up on me. Actually, yes, you will. Because I don't, I don't see you at all. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. Okay, inside we go. You know, it's just come to me. 
we are gonna have some big phantom problems if we do not find sheep very soon. We may want to put a roof on this place because that's gonna be super scary. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Yeah. Maybe we should work on that. Okay, so while we are in here for the night, I think it's a good time to do some interior decorating. So I don't actually like where I just put that staircase. I think I want to put it right here along the side so that it's not intruding with anything. Uh, like so. Oh, nope, nope, not you. There we go, like that. And then we'll get rid of this. I think in this corner we can just probably fill this with sand. I think that'll be okay. Yeah. I love this, we can get up and get a good idea of what's going on in our surroundings. Skeleton can shoot us, but I think we'll be okay, because we can just tuck down in here. Alright, so... By the way, I ate the rest of the wheat. We don't have any more food, we're completely out, so we need to really focus on getting those farms up and running, or else we are going to not be very good at surviving on these survival islands. <laughs> Little bit of decoration right there, plop that torch back. Alright, let's make some more chests now. Did I have more wood? Did I? That's all the wood I have. All right, let's just use it. We'll be able to get some more in the morning. All right, we'll just get some chests going up like that. Perfect, so we're gonna have chests there, chests there, and then in the corner here is our little work spot. Let's actually put that into the ground because we don't have a ton of space. We will just put our little crafting table in the ground there. And for our furnaces, hmm. We can actually tuck furnaces in there. That could be super cool, okay. I'm gonna keep forgetting where my um, crafting table is for a little while until I get used to that, but it's fine. We'll get used to it. There we go. Two more. Yeah, that works out well. I think we should have probably put stairs here, but we can fix that up as soon as we go get some more wood. Let's let's brave it actually. Let's actually see. Let's see if we can kill a skeleton maybe. Oh, I see some creepers. I don't want to deal with those. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Don't walk away from me. How rude. <gasps> yes, bones. Awesome. All right. I need this wood. I need everybody to ignore me while I get some wood. Ah, please. Okay. Awesome. I shall take you out, sir. Thank you very much. How are we doing over here? Okay, we desperately need this bone meal. Okay. I think I planted potato here. I did. Perfect, okay, let's get that, and then I'm gonna plant back three and take three with me. Perfect. Ah, we are gonna be so good at this survival thing. Oh, we can also eat some of this rotten flesh. I mean, I don't have another use for it right now, so, uh, may as well. I'm sure it doesn't taste great, but, but that does the job. Guys, look at what I found. I was just exploring on this side of the island. The shipwreck we explored is right there, and our sandcastle is right there, and we have cows spawned on this island. I didn't even notice. This means that we can create a cow farm super easily. We'll be able to get leather and paper and start up enchanting, and I'm so excited to get started with this. All right. I came over here just to grab a few more trees, and I've also got to remember to replant them all, so I'm going to get all these saplings as well. Ah, looking out at that makes me so excited to get going on some underwater builds. I cannot wait until we get a little further along. I hope you guys are excited for this series just as much as I am, because I am absolutely pumped. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Seriously. I, this little tree is so derpy. It grew, it grew leaves all the way to the ground. It's so cool. All right, so I'm just collecting up a few more supplies, doing my farming and such, and then we're gonna do a little bit more to our house, and then I think we will be done for this episode. So uh, yeah, let's get going. Oh, we've got some carrots, heck yeah. I need to make a little step down. There we go, so I don't squish anything. Perfect, carrots. Okay, I also need to expand this farm. Maybe we should do that right now, actually. Let me go grab some dirt. All right, here we go. Our farm is officially expanding even more. We're, we're almost at the point where we have some wheat grown, which is perfect. Definitely gonna need a lot of that. Oh, there's a torch down there. My bad. Okay, so now that our farm's expanded, we need to just expand up our house a little bit because I know for a fact that I didn't find any sheep. That's what I went over there for, as well as wood. I wanted to see if we had any other animals like sheep so that we could make a bed, but we can't, which means we could have, ooh, that's really deep. 
we could possibly end up having to deal with phantoms, which is terrifying. Also, wow. I mean, I'm not equipped to deal with this yet, but I am so excited for when I am. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. Let me get this unburied a little bit. Some awkward terraforming going on right here. All right, so after a little bit more farming, I think our farms are finally at a point where we are able to sustain ourselves off of that. We've got some wheats, got some rotten flesh from zombies I just killed, some carrots, I've been able to get a few potatoes. We're definitely not gonna starve to death, but we haven't slept in three nights and those phantoms are so scary. I want to get a roof over our heads. So we're gonna go one layer in, so we're gonna have this little walkway around here. One layer in and we're gonna start on our pillars again. We're gonna make this sandcastle just one layer taller. Should have more than enough wood for this. Up like that, yep, yep, yep. And uh, let's get a floor in as well. Something to walk on up here. This is where our bed will go when we eventually get one. And get some sheep and stuff, all right. Yeah, that's much nicer, okay. Perfect, let's get these shaved down. I kind of want to do a lot of glass up here too. I did smelt down some sand, so we are able to do that. Now the trick is, I kind of want to do it on this level to give us more space, but that doesn't give us any depth, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think I'm gonna go for it for now, and we're gonna have some windows in it, so that should help us out a little bit. I might, I might be able to get over the no depth thing. We go three windows there. This is gonna be like our big lookout. There we go. Oops. Okay, so now that we've got that in, I want to be able to get outside still, and I didn't think about that when I put it in the glass. I think I'm gonna put a door. Oh, oh goodness. Building with sand. <laughs> Not the easiest. I think I left my doors down here. Let me go see. Why am I taking damage? I like willingly just taking so much damage from falling. Goodness, I'm way too used to creative. All right, let's get a door. Ooh, that may look kind of awkward. Yeah, we need to do full glass blocks here. Oh, <laughs> goodness. That's fine, just wasting a little bit of blocks. Not a big deal, there we go. And I think we'll just do sand over it, yeah. And then same thing as before, we're just gonna do stairs in the corners and then a nice castle-like top. I need to get up to the top here. Let's, uh, let's make some more slabs first. I'm definitely gonna need more of those. All right, uh... Nope, let's get even more, because I'm going to have to do the ceiling as well. Okay, there we go. Back up here, yep, and castle-like top. Perfect. Alright, now, I could make an access up here, maybe just with a ladder, but I'm definitely going to be slabbing this over, which does look a little bit strange with the sand, but I'm actually okay with that. All right, there we go. And on each corner, we don't want anything to spawn, so some torches will do us. All right, let's hop down and get a little idea of what that looks like. Ooh, we could probably do like some window cells or something here maybe eventually. Although, that does kind of stop our walkway. Yeah, no, nah, let's not do that. Let's see here. Take that back down. There we go. And let's go get a good idea of what we've got here for a sandcastle. Oh, I really like that actually. That's such a cute little starter house. That would be perfect for us. I think that'll give us a great place to start off. We've got some good farms going. Uh, I, need, I need to go get some more potatoes probably. All right. This has been a fantastic start. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode as much as I have. I have had so much fun and I'm so excited to continue playing in this update. I'm gonna keep playing right now. I'm gonna go get us some cows and finish up our farms between episodes. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I had a 
blast. I hope you did too. Hope you guys are as excited about Update Aquatic as I am. All right, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.